Uh, all right. Uh, welcome, everybody. I said I was going to do something a little special on Mondays after finishing Silent Hill 1 with the worst ending. Um, and rather than spend a lot of time re-going through Silent Hill 1, I decided to start something else. And I'm actually playing on an actual PS2 here. Maybe you'll be able to hear some of my PS2 noises. But we are going to start Silent Hill 2 today. And we've got uh, Muppy, a.k.a. Sin the Dark Body, on as well. Say hello, Muppy. I am here. All hello. Right. Hopefully this works. It looks like you're getting some Elgato no signalage. It should it should come back in a second, I hope. Or it won't. This is actually part of the opening for Silent Hill 2. There it goes. Okay. Oh, I gotta mute my television. Yeah, it's a little difficult to set this up because I have to I have to use the um, unfortunately my TV doesn't have a, a headphone jack so I have to use the headphone jack on my computer but my Elgato software gives me like a fraction of a second of time delay so my audio is going to be a little bit distinct for myself but uh, it's not too bad I tried to play around with the color a little bit does the color look good uh, it looks good to me but I don't really remember what Silent Hill 2 looks like okay that's all good. So I have not really played this game in years. Um, I played it a little bit this weekend just to like make sure that it still worked and all that stuff. But uh, I deleted my old save games and I don't because I didn't remember where I was. So we'll just uh, we'll just get started. We'll do normal normal action and hard roads. It says new game and option, but there should also be like a randomized old game that you can play. This is a pretty old game at this point, unfortunately. I don't know what that fingers in front of the face thing means. He's doing ASMR to himself. That makes sense. Close up on the urinal. There's a cat girl hiding behind it. I hope not. This is the men's room. Yeah, in Japan. Oh. Mary, no, it's not. This is Silent Hill. Could you really be in this town? Silent Hill, uh, Kanto region. Silent Hill is in America. The people that make Silent Hill are very clear about Silent Hill being in America. I like how the fact that, I don't like, know what you're talking about. This guy is as Japanese as apple pie. I really like the way that they're like, look at this. There's a there's a mirror, a functional mirror in the game. It's like, wow. What what year did this game come out? Jeez. 1999, probably in Japan, and 2001 in the US, I guess. In my restless dreams. I see that you see, now. Silent Hill was imported to America Silent back Hill. then. That's what happened. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. So wait, is this the same guy from the first Waiting game? For you. No. got a letter. The name on the envelope said, Mary. My wife's name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. It sounds like he's doing like one of them 
That's what I keep telling myself. Regular talking song things. A dead person yeah. can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then, why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? I like the photograph background, like in the distance. Yeah, that's nice. So this is interesting in that it doesn't like start with like an obvious trauma like the first one does where he's in a friggin' car accident. Cause like we saw the ending of the first Silent Hill and basically the bad ending is that Harry is just dead in his car the whole time and it's like oh. But this one doesn't start with like something where that kind of ending could happen, so I'm curious to see what's going to happen. I haven't finished this game before. I got before I deleted my old save games, it said I was about five hours in, in the hospital, I think. So, you know. Well, this is the M Night Shyamalan version, so nothing bad actually happens. Oh, if only that were true. But I did actually play several hours into this game, and I will spend some time with a big board with a nail in it fighting monsters, so that's just how it's going to go. So, apparently, main character dude here doesn't want to actually get in his car and drive to Rosewater Park. That's where we want to go, to Rosewater Park. Can I really not? I mean, of course I can't drive there, but does he say something about it? Yeah, whatever. All right, here we go. Nothing else worth taking. Definitely not the car that could get me there. It's Toluca Lake. They named it Toluca Lake because the citizens of this county really like calling it Toluca Lake. Isn't that how most lakes get named? No, it, it just it just rolls off the tongue just right for these people. They're like, Toluca Lake! You can find it up at Toluca Lake! Well, it could be worse. It could be Paluca Lake. Then there's just some guy who's like, Hey, I'm a Paluca! This is my lake. And then it turns out he has like six faces and is a monster. Welcome to Silent Hill. Located next to beautiful Toluca Lake. I wonder if I should have... There's probably a reason that I need to take this, this path anyway, but... Here we are. Oh, I'm unarmed, too. Which is... Troublesome. I guess we can examine some things. In my restless dreams, I see that town, Silent Hill. I promise you take Why did you have a picture... Why does he have a picture of his wife? Well, I was going to say, why does he have a picture of himself in drag? <laughs> uh, I don't think that looks like him in drag. And that picture's in the secret inventory. He just dressed up one day and now he's going around telling everyone that he has a wife. Had a wife. She died from that damn disease. Oh yeah, that's good. I hear sounds. Did he say what disease it was? I, I don't think he did. He, he just called it that damn disease. So like, that, that's a possibility, right? Like, that he just is, has imagined this, or... I mean, 
Who knows what kind of mind screw stuff they're gonna do to us. I don't like these noises. What the hell is that? Something in the well. Oh, it's a save point. <laughs> Nine kilobytes needed for initial save, free space 1308 kilobytes. Back in the day. <laughs> when 8 megs was Those were on. crazy times. I remember when, like, the PS1, yeah. you could fit, like, depending on the games you played, there were some games where the save file would take up an entire memory card. Yep. I played through one of those. I played through um, Space Griffin, VF9, and it takes up half a memory card. Like, seven, yeah, it seven was, or eight uh, slots, something dumb like that. I think... A train, the game A train took up eight or nine spots, something crazy like that. Wow. And it was just a sim game. Yeah, but those usually take up a lot of memory because they have to save the whole world. I also had to save the world in Sui Coden. You know what I mean. Excuse me, I... Oh, I, I'm sorry. I... I was just... Oh, it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? She looked simultaneously um, angry yeah. and weirded out it's by that. It's hard to see with this fog. That's reasonable. There's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. This... Uh... Th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? I'm and looking for... swaggers off into the someone. sunset. Who, who... Who is it? Someone... Very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here. such a weird response. I'd do anything to be with her again. I can't me too. find them either. I, I'm sorry. It's not your no, problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. So I don't know whether this game was originally um, like written in English, acted in English in the Japanese version. looking for someone? So That's right. It's possible that the dialogue will be a little bit messed up. I'm totally cool with that at this point. Modern translation has gotten so sterile that I I welcome the early bad translations where they were just like, get the game out there. Well, no, it might not be a translation. It might be that they originally wrote it. You know, like, like Resident Evil, where the Japanese version was all English dialogue. I, I was thinking of the voice acting more than anything, but yeah. Well, I guess my point is that the voice acting isn't bad, it's that the, uh, 
Is that the um, the, the lines they have to read? Not are so little, much. Are a little sometimes. wooden, yeah, because they're they were they were written by a non-native English speaker, possibly. Oh, we found a truck. Yeah, that did happen with a lot of games, though. It kind of made them memorable. Sometimes, sometimes not in a good way, though. Deep down, we were all almost a Jill sandwich. Maybe the Jill sandwich is the friends we made along the way. What the hell is that sound? I'm not even armed yet. Stay away, monsters. It's the kids in the back of that van. I hope not. That'd be... This doesn't look like Disneyland. surface he runs on sounds like he's wearing moon shoes. So this one's generally considered the best Silent Hill, right? It's either this or the third one, from what I understand. This one is, is, is really high up there from, from, from what I've heard. Yeah, the foggy atmosphere in this one is really great. Yeah, they, they do a good job. It's, it, it feels more like fog and not just like um, clipping, distance clipping. There's like a bouncy castle somewhere. I mean, considering it's some kind of eldritch horror thing, you wouldn't expect there to you wouldn't expect an eldritch horror to put like graffiti on the walls. But like maybe like symbols or something, but not like graffiti and stuff like that. It's a little weird. For a good time, call Cthulhu at So far, I've seen a Roadrunner sign and a Gonzalez's Mexican restaurant type. I'm wondering how many Looney Tunes references we're going to find in this game.
Well, I found a first aid kit. That's a good start. Modern video games had me thinking that you were just about to come up to a crafting bench. Yeah. I kind of saw it too, honestly. It's not open world enough. Is that a weapon? It's a shovel? I guess I can't pick it up. It's like, yeah, this is just here. You can just use it to make things. Why not? Build up your alchemy skill with the... Some guy stirring a bunch of liquids into an oil drum. I'm doing alchemy! Sound design is so great. Whoa, that's not good. Stains. Oh man. This is... I guess we can't cross this line for some reason. Strong plastic. town like this, regardless of whether I thought my dead wife was here or not, I wouldn't just follow the bloodstains. I'd be like, I should stay away from the bloodstains. That'd be my first instinct. What if you weren't given a choice? Like, what if someone set up a, barri a, a, like a barricade with plastic caution tape? Well, I mean, that might be a thing, but there are still more directions for me to go. What is this? Crafting table. Might be... Oh, it's the same one.
swear to God with this town. Marijuana was legalized like one week ago. <laughs> What's that sound? It's a radio? Is there a thing over there? Oh, that's a thing. Oh, jeez. That's what a baby looks like. Is there better over it put it in a fryer? I don't know. Baby, most babies have arms. Oh, I don't like Okay, so at least at least he's like It's not human, he says. Well, no duh. Come on. Anyway, I have to go find my ex-wife or oh, whoever yeah. she was. I don't remember. This thing broken? I'm not going down that two feet of tunnel again. What the? I better take it anyway. I might need it. The bad ending is that he becomes a hoarder. Reassuring that he just like grabs a stick and beats the crap out of the thing, not just like get attacked by it in the dark like in the first game. They're really making the player feel like, uh, like you know, you might survive. Uh, he grew up near the ports in Detroit. If you ever go to Silent Hill to bring WD-40. And a radio, apparently. Why? They clearly supply them. Oh, jeez, what the hell? Me. What? It spits gas at you! Oh 
my camera fail. They put trees in front of all the house doors. Oh, the lines are cut. We can get through here now. Right, we're just gonna run away from that. Ugh. Oh. You gotta wonder what it is that it wants from you. Yeah, who knows, right? Where am I supposed I to... mean, at, at least one part of what it wants from you is to vomit on you. Yeah, but why? Why the vomit? Would you like to hear something somewhat situationally funny to this exact moment that you're playing this game? Sure. So apparently, Windows takes it upon itself. Microsoft thought that it would be a great idea to just automatically link all of your accounts on all your devices. Yeah. And my niece is playing the Xbox as we speak. Okay. Right after you killed that first creature, an achievement <laughs> popped up that said you've, you've attained a new cooking mastery. <laughs> what the heck? So I need a crafting table is what you're saying. <laughs> it seems like it. So I just noticed this, but very nice little attention to detail is that James here is going to point his head at any items nearby. Just like that. You know, I probably would have been three hours into this game before I noticed that. You know, I just wanted a burger. Happy Burger is closed. You could try You're Being Terrorized by Monsters in the Mist Burger. That's, uh, that's always an option. Is, is there one, though? I don't think they have a franchise in Silent Hill. Which, honestly, is kind of surprising. But I know. I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Yeah, totally. How many of these things are going to chase me around here? There's one in Southern California. <laughs> Okay, so the, the status thing is a little different from Silent Hill 1. It gets staticky instead of like having like a green to red kind of thing. It's a little harder to tell how much health you have in this one actually. Oh yeah, this looks like the kind of thing I would find in an American small town. Sure, why not? Just a giant friggin' wall in the middle of the street. Well, you know why that is, right? I do not. You're in Japan, buddy. No, no, anything but that. What is this? There's a memo on the sofa. I'll wait at Bar Neely's. Okay. There might be someone there that can help us. It better not be the woman you're looking for. I feel it's a bit ridiculous that she would, like, get this far into town and be like, this place is horrifying. I'll leave a note here in this random trailer for so-and-so to find me. What's this guy's name again? James Sunderland, I think. He hasn't really introduced himself yet. Right now he's just Silent Hill 2 protagonist.
North of the Happy Burger. Okay, good to know. Nice here. So someone symbol at the end of Martin Street. It's a it's a question mark, but copied it out of my map. There was a hole here, it's gone now. Those are the flyers. Their wings are just stuck in the flesh bags. I, that's fine, as far as he goes. What the hell is that sound? Like a wheelchair? The most disturbing yet non-frightening monster of them all. I don't know. Wheelchairs in Silent Hill are pretty frightening, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. They just symbolize you should be afraid, and I don't know why. Oh, he sees something. Yeah, of course. those boots at a place called Double Taps. It is important to stomp on everything that you think you've killed in Silent Hill. It's just important. What the? Oh, great. He had an apartment gate key because that's all... That's... Because the one thing I want to do in Silent Hill is go into a darkened apartment building. Time to become a tenant.
before the whole monster thing, the city was invaded by unicyclists. Well, I mean, it could be worse, right? It could be mines. It sounds like it's off to the left, but then I, like, turn and it's not- there's nothing there. Usually the, like, the, the, the left-right sound balance in these games is important. anything. That even the eight human beings was real or whether it was some kind of hallucination. I'm beyond all hope. It seems they're attracted to light. It reacts strongly to the sound. Great. Take good aim, squeeze the trigger, finish them off. Runaway advice is probably actually pretty good advice. Yeah. It's actually the third runaway that's the best advice. but no handgun. It turns out throwing the bullets is the most effective thing in the game. I feel like the fact that there, there are handgun bullets laying around it means that I should have already gotten it. I'm not so sure. Sometimes these games just sort of taunt you with that. Maybe. Didn't the first Resident Evil hint that a rocket launcher was coming with, like, rockets that you found? Or, or maybe it was the fire arrows or something? I don't think so. The door that wakes in darkness opening the nightmare. It's locked. Small favors, right? Well, yeah, I guess that's uh, convenient.
It's like a giant ant or something. I mean, the thing is, I don't want to miss out on a weapon if I can get it. I really don't <clears throat> think you missed anything. I don't know. I mean... I, mean, I guess I may as well look around a little bit. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back up here because... The guy with the memos actually specifically talked about having a gun. So I'm wondering if I just missed it. Place I could actually go. I feel like you're going to run into that woman again, and she's going to say, "Oh, you know, there's really something strange about this town. I just can't quite put my finger on it." I mean, if. If, uh, if the main character is the only one that's seen these monsters, then maybe. But she'll say it as she's beating one of the monsters with a plank with a nail in it. Maybe. I've been here. Wait, what is this? Something is written on it. I can't read it because the surface has been rubbed away. Remains of blank swamp. The something of land surround surrounding this monument, which realizes the swamp but later filled in. Nicknamed the blood swamp because the waters or because the something poured the water. Oh wow. Many people... I don't know. The multi-gun path. It gives you every gun in the game immediately. Oh, this is where I already was. There's another energy drink.
dead now. Wood something apartment. Oh. There's actually a place for memos to be stored. That's handy. So, the memo says that you can get to Rosewater Park from or through the Woodside apartment. And I've been to Neely's Bar, and I've been to that circle on the south side where um, that, uh, whatchamacallit was. But he's crossed out most of the stores. All right, let's head to the Woodside Apartments. I like how there's a question mark on a map that someone made while visiting places like, what did I do here again? Well, that's why, that's why, you know, uh, we're like, oh, we should investigate that because that is weird. I mean, it got us the, uh, it got us the, uh, the key to the apartment, so. Hard to complain about that. Yeah, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, with what's going on in this guy's life, there's very little to complain about. <laughs> he seems very accepting of the whole, yeah, I'm just in a town with monsters now, it's all good. Yeah, that would be... I think that would be the time that I would be like, I, well, I guess that, that's what the conversation was setting up. He's like, I don't care if it's dangerous. I'm going to go try to find my wife, you know, even if it, even if it kills me, basically. So they motivate it. Kind of, but you think that at least one in every 10 persons would be, uh, you know, there's a limit. Well, I think that's the point, though, is that everybody that gets trapped in Silent Hill is a little crazy somehow, right? So, I guess there is not really any gun over here. I was really hopeful. It'd be really nice if there was a gun. Probably gonna get a gun the minute you go into the uh, next area. I don't think so. I say I don't think so because the one thing that I did when I was getting ready to set up this stream during the weekend was I checked out one of my old saves of this game. And it was in the apartment building, and I still did not have a gun. So I'm worried that I just missed it. All right. 
Here we go. I mean, it might be keep out signs, but really it's more the fences that keep you out. And conveniently, the uh, radio goes completely dark. Those fences are made of lead. As long as there aren't any monsters in the area, I can search a little bit. So there's apparently a... This one's locked. There's a couple of doors that we could hypothetically go into. This is number two. Is there a third one though? Question mark. I was like, no. There's an alleyway. Well, that alleyway just leads to the trash. Uh, All right. We already checked it out. Oh yeah, great. A dark apartment building, exactly where you want to be in Silent Hill. Okay, map of the building. When he has green lettering, he's screaming things. Oh wow, look at the size of the apartment building. <laughs> the map made it look so small. Oh my god. <clears throat> Ninety percent of this apartment building is the boiler room. That would be a very Silent Hill thing to have a apartment building that's mostly mostly boiler room. So if I look at the at the map, I can try exploring the first floor. Looks like we have three floors to explore. They really hit me with a lot of maps. Jeez. I'm a bit nostalgic for Toluca Lake now. Well, at least there weren't any monsters in Toluca Lake. All right, well, let's do this piece by piece. Start with the first floor. Wait, what's that? There's just a bottle? Yeah, it's nothing. Uh, all right. Of course it is. Someone turned a bicycle rack into a handrail. Second floor. And away we go. So 
So this is something I discovered when I was trying this out over the weekend. It's too dark to read the map here. But I can go here and read the map. It's like, um... It's just funny that they went to the trouble of simulating that. The fire hose is gone. That's not up to code at all. I'll send someone to condemn the building. He may be too late. This is where I came in, I think. where they wash their clothes and throw away their garbage. It's blocked. Oh, and they got the friggin' camera angle all wonky. I would think it'd be easier to open if the lock was broken. Broken in an unopening way, obviously. Hey, a door we can open. Oh yeah, a, 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 a dress dummy just set in the middle of the friggin' room. That's that's normal. I yeah, totally all about that. Okay, well I got the flashlight in the lobby. Enemy type. Good to know. I couldn't even see any of that. Oh. Sewing machine. Who would put a flashlight on a mannequin in the middle of a. In such poor taste. I mean, the thing is that the light attracts the enemies, so I'm gonna try to, like, not use it as much as I can. I guess it is a little dark on the actual. It's okay, this is the part where I'm just using my imagination. Can't get the door open. No, hit it! Don't! There we go! There we go. So it looks like I may, it looks like I may need to turn the brightness on this up a little bit. What's this? Oh, more handgun ammo. Great. Let me try to let me try to turn this up a little bit brightness wise. You may see a little bit of menu-y goodness.
That might be better. Is that better? It looks a bit brighter. And you can still see it when I turn off the light a little bit. It should be dark. Yeah. Not like, yeah, not I like can see invisible it. dark. So I have this set to quote unquote expand. Oh, jeez! <laughs> what the? The radio is supposed to not allow that to happen. <sighs> Jeez. This is a small apartment to have two bathrooms. Sometimes you get done in one and you're just like, you know what, may as well use the other one. It's right there. Okay, handgun bullets. Oh, I'm tracking blood all around. Health is kind of low. Sounds like somebody needs standard energy drink. Not just standard energy drink, generic energy drink. Can't spit vomit on me across through the corner. Kill it! You can hit faster than that, it's fine, jeez! If I was in this situation, I would be swinging that stupid, that stupid pole as hard as I possibly could, as fast as I possibly could. He's a very lazy protagonist. At this point, it's not about laziness, it's about, like, life or death. broken. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a really cool film grain effect when it's dark in this game. I can see it. It's very nice. Broken lock. Broken lock. One more apartment we can go into. What the... Because devil music is what we want, isn't it? I uh, am I I'm agreeing. Scars 
the patch hole. Remove the nail that stops time. Push the clock. Probably can't push the clock. Put your back into it. 10, 21, and 15 seconds. Need to somehow get into the... to touch the faceplate of the clock. Henry Mildred Scott. So I'm thinking about Henry Mildred Scott, and I'm thinking hour, minute, second. Well, what's this? A memo? Three needles stand of three different heights. The fat, the tall, and the thin. So fat would be hours, tall would be minutes, and thin would be seconds. Scott rests not on three, but fifteen. Scott is the seconds, okay. How helpful this is. But we still can't get past that pesky thin glass covering the faceplate. <sighs> it's interesting, he has like three different colors of pens to mark things with. another friggin' wheelchair type sound. <sighs> What's that circle for? Oh, there's a trash can there, right? Well, it's not clear where to go next. Probably the third floor? Sounds like a Godzilla monster. I think it's one of those walking... Yeah, it's these things. messing with you. I guess so. Maybe I should head back to the... Whew. The, the camera is not cooperating either. Stomp on it! I guess that's what I need to do. It's not dangerous until it stands up. It's just for 
drums. There we go. All right. Well, we've explored the second floor, found a puzzle that we can't quite solve yet. I think we will call it here for tonight. So I'm gonna get back to that save point and then we will call it. Is it darker in here? Wait, what's that? Nothing. <sighs> All right. Any uh, final comments? Oh, it's a interesting game that I probably should have played at some point. Yeah, the Silent Hill series is is the first four at least are pretty solid. Um, after that, it kind of I hear it kind of went a little went a little wonky. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. This has been our first episode of Silent Hill Two, um, played on an actual PS Two, and. Yeah, hopefully we will get through this before my memory card fails. <laughs> Is that a thing? Well, yeah, it's just flash memory, so, you know, it can it can stop oh, being I see. Yeah. I mean, I haven't had it happen yet, but who knows. But anyway, later, everybody. Later.